Hello and welcome to this video series on HTML for beginners. Now in this video we're going to be covering the basics of the basics. I'm going to introduce you to the main structure that all web pages need to exist. What I commonly call the basic four. Now we've got the HTML tags uh, which basically tells the browser that it's going to be reading an HTML page and you're going to have the opening HTML tag and the closing HTML tag. Kind of like yin and yang, uh, right and wrong, black and white. You're going to have, when you, where you have one, you're going to have the other. And I'll touch base on that here in just a little bit. But basically everything on your web page needs to go in between these two tags. Now and we've also got the head tags. Again, you've got your opening head tag and your closing head tag. And this is where all the meta tags reside. And if you don't know what a meta tag is, don't sweat it. We're going to cover that a little more in depth in an upcoming video. But basically all the thinking takes place in between the head tags. And if you can relate this to a body, you know, the head is on top and below the head you got the body. Well, guess what, folks? The body tags are next. Well, no, wait, they're not. In between the head tags, we've got the title tags. Little snafu there. Now in the title tags, again you got the opening title tag and the closing title tag. That's where the name of your page goes. And then below the head tag you got the body tags. Again you got the opening and the closing body tags. This is where all of the goodies are contained. Uh, the content like the text, the graphics, the videos, and other elements in scripting languages. You know, kind of like JavaScript or other items, uh, PHP, whatnot, uh, includes, whatever, they might go in your body tags or in between your body tags. So let's go ahead and open up our simple HTML editor, otherwise known as the notepad. And for those of you that have the Dreamweaver or the front page or the composers or the WYSIWYGs open and ready to go to work, close them because we're not going to be using those. We'll get to those in a later video series. So let's go ahead and open up our notepad minimize this and if you did not catch it in the first video on where to get your notepad at just go to your start menu button over the left hand side go to all programs go up to accessories and there you have your notepad now if you want it on your desktop kind of like I do so you don't have to go through this little step each time just right click on this go down here to send to I'm using uh, Windows XP, by the by, just in case you have a different operating system and <laughs> yours doesn't look like this. And then just going down here to Desktop and Create Shortcut, and it tosses a shortcut of that notepad on your desktop, just like this. Now, before we jump into this, let's go ahead and create a folder to store all these goodies so we just don't have you know web page you know, floating all over our desktop here. Go ahead and right-click, go to New, click on Folder. Let's name this bad boy HTML Stuff name yours whatever you want <laughs> just as long as you know where and what it is and we'll leave that alone for the time being so let's open up our notepad here and let's get to work now remember basic four we've got our oh yeah how you make these you gotta have this angle bracket here alligator bracket less than greater than whatever you want to call it I'm gonna call it an angle bracket HTML and closing angle bracket You've always, you're always going to have the angle brackets left and right and in between the, those will be the uh, name of the tag. In this case it's an HTML tag. Now like I was mentioning before, yin and yang, black and white, right and wrong, you got your opening tag, we need a closing tag. 99% of the time that's the rule. Okay, Yeah, there's going to be those occasions out there where you're going to see a tag that does not have a closing tag. We're going to get into that later on because that, I think, may fall outside the realms of HTML for beginners. Okay, That might be a little more HTML for advanced. So forgive me if we skip over that later on, but uh, it definitely doesn't belong here in this video. HTML. Now, this is a forward slash here. That's the closing. That's the difference between the opening and the closing tag is the forward slash. Everything else on that tag is the same. So this is our HTML tag. What else did I say? Head tag. Oops. Bracket. H E A D. Bracket. Bracket. Forward slash. H E A D. Bracket. Now then, in between the head tag is where our title tag goes. And this is the only purpose behind the title tag is to tell the browsers the name of our page. 
and forward slash T I T L E E. And again, you can have it up and down like these guys here or to the side. Um, depending on what web page you're looking at, and I'll show you how to find the source code of any web page here in just a second. It may be to the side, it may be up and down, whatever. But in this case, this is how I roll. We're going to go side by side. And we're just going to name this uh, my first and just to show you a little bit more I'm gonna put a vertical bar or a pipe as they call it uh, right next to that just to because where you're gonna see this at you're not gonna see this on the web page anywhere at all you're only gonna see this on your browser bar up here at the very top and I'll show you that here in just a sec but this little pipe doohickey right here that vertical bar that is located on the right hand side of your keyboard between the enter key and the backspace key. You hold your shift, it's the backslash key. Um, you hold your shift key down and hit that backslash. You see, gives you the pipes, what I call pipes. Anyway, um, so over here. Okay, now then, uh, below the head tag, the closing head tag, is our body tag. And if it's easy, easy to remember, you got your head on top of your body. Okay, head, body, head on top of body. Anyway, B O D Y. And in, in between the body tags, opening and closing body tags, goes the content of your web page. You know, the. Um, videos, the text, the graphics, uh, certain scripts like JavaScript, uh, what have you. I can't walk and talk at the same time. That's why I forgot the uh, forward slash in here to close it out. See, I can't talk and type at the same time either. But I can chew gum and pat my head at the same time. Just an old talent. Okay, so in between here is where the basic body section of our web page is going to be. For example, One thing I want to point out too at this point, you see these spaces here, just like normal typing, you hit your space bar. Um, as you may have heard, I hit the space bar quite a few times there. However, the way that HTML works, it's only going to recognize the first space. Anything after that, you can hit the space bar 20 times. You're only going to show on the web page on the browser this is only going to show up as one um, space so when you see the time or when you find the need to have a space greater than one uh, space bar tap um, on your web page what you need to do to accomplish that is what they call a non-breaking space yeah that's what it was I don't use it that often so I'm not really familiar with it but it looks kind of funky. Let me show you what it looks like here. Do you have the ampersand and the semicolon? Not really sure, but non-breaking space. I can pretty much figure that out. But each one of these represents a tap of the space bar on your keyboard, if you can look at it like that. So if you put, if you needed 20 spaces between the word page and the word yippee, well, instead of tapping your space bar 20 times, because that ain't going to work, you tap your space bar once and put 19 of these bad boys up there right next to one another just like that and that's going to get your spaces to show up on the web page okay that may be a little bit beyond the scope of this bit video but I wanted to throw it in there just for the sake of being able to do so okay so anyway now that we've got our basic web page made our basic four tags HTML head title body and of course the uh, yang of those yings, the closing tags, closing HTML tag, closing body tag, closing head tag, and closing title tag. Now we've got to really make this a web page by saving it as an HTML document. Because right now it's a text document. We're using a text editor. So we go up here to File. Go to Save As. 
figure out where we want to save it to. This is the name of the folder that I've got on my desktop that we're going to save all of our stuff to. And if yours just doesn't pop up there, we'll hit this drop down arrow and find where you've got that folder. And then let's name it first web page. Don't put any spaces in your name, just leave it all scrunched together like that. And then go dot HTML. And then here under save as type, make sure that is all files. Get in the habit of doing that, not just for this video, but you know for other items you're going to be saving. Get in the habit of making sure it says all files, and then that way you won't be naming it HTML and it end up being a text document. And you wonder, well, what the heck happened? Well, just avoid that that hassle by just doing that. Anywho, so we got it in the right folder, got the right name, got the right tag, got the right save as type, and then click on save. Now then, let's go ahead and close this open up our folder there it is first web page now just to let you know what the heck this thing is this is the icon for the browser that I have as a default which is the Firefox or Mozilla Firefox browser if you don't have this yours might be like an E like if you use Internet Explorer it's probably like a, a blue E or a gold or yellow E with a blue background or if you use Safari or Opera, it may not look the same as this. But basically, uh, one thing you might want to keep in mind is, and I've touched on this in prior videos too, if you're going to be in the habit of creating web pages, you might want to download, when you get a chance, download as many browsers as you can, browser types. In other words, you might want to have, uh, let's say you use Internet Explorer. You might want to also download onto your desktop the Mozilla Firefox browser, the Netscape browser, the Safari browser, the Opera browser. Now granted the big two are Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox, but if you if nothing else, you want to test your web pages in as many browser types as possible. At the very least, you want to have Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox on your desktop because those again are the big two. Those probably comprise 90% or more of all browsers used on the internet today. The rest of the you know two percent or ten percent is kind of scattered between the operas, the safaris, the Netscapes, and so on. So for testing purposes, open this up, right click, or you can double click, and then in my case I can open it with Firefox or Internet Explorer. Okay? So I'm gonna go with Firefox. And it open it up down here below. Here we are. Okay, well it didn't open it, but let me just drag that bad boy in here. Left click on my mouse and just hold and drag. And there we have it. This is my first web page. Yippee! And up here is the title. This is where I was telling you the little pipe bar thingy, my first web page. Now I'm really learning. Okay, now one thing I wanted to point out before you got out of, got off of this video is the page source or how you can see the guts or the source code of other websites. Let's say, for example, you're surfing the web and you come across a really cool web page. It's, just got, it's got all kinds of bells and whistles going and you just wonder, well, how the heck do they do that? Boy, I wish I knew how to do that. Well, here's how you can find out. I just randomly picked this one because I've really been messing with these guys here lately. Made a set of videos on Amember. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> sell it or anything like that. This is not an affiliate link. But how you do this, let's say for example you wanted to know how do they get this red text here or this image here or this box over here that you can fill in and these links up here. How do they do all that stuff? Well, right up here, and again this is Mozilla Firefox, it will probably be a little bit different with uh, Internet Explorer. But you go to View, Page Source, and this is the source code. And this isn't cheating or anything. This is just, you know, how how I learned quite a bit, actually, is to see how others had their pages structured and just copy this, put it on another page. And I'm not saying to plagiarize or to steal ideas from other people. This is merely a learning exercise. But, for example, we've got the opening HTML tag here. And at the very bottom of the page, we got the closing HTML tag. We got the closing body tag right above it, or in this case, right next to it. Same thing. And then scroll back up the page. Well, 
Are we at here? Oh yeah. Uh, the opening body tag. Here's the closing head tag. And the opening head tag, the opening title tag, the closing title tag. And you see right here is the title. Let's get back over to the web page here. Membership Software A Member Pro. Membership Software A Member Pro. See? And that's basically it. Now, and again, inside of their uh, head tags, they've got some scripts, as it says here. They've got other tags and things that we're not going to go into right now. But that is a basic web page. They have the same elements on this cool-looking web page as we've got on ours. Just theirs has more bells and whistles. But that's basically it, folks. That is how we got the basics of the web page. Every web page on the Internet today is comprised of the same things we just went over, those basic four. So hope you learned something on this video. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day.